In this video, we are going to be diving into the differences between the ENFP and the ENFJ personnel type. Now, I know a lot of people struggle to tell apart these two types, and the truth is, I think a lot of ENFPs are actually ENFJs. And I'm going to show you why and how you can recognize these two different personality types. Hey, sorry, my name is Eric, and I'm a YouTuber. Could I ask you a quick question? Oh, yeah, sure. Okay. Awesome, thanks. Okay, so I'm curious, are you more of an introvert or an extrovert? I think I'm a little bit of a combination okay. of both. I also found out like in the lockdown periods and stuff that I was really too much on my own and I was really missing that energy from other people. I loved like music and parties and so so yeah it really works both ways. For me it's not one or the other. Uh, would you say you're more of an introvert or an extrovert? Huh. Uh, extrovert, or extrovert I think. Yeah. yeah. Do you get more energy from being with people or by, by, by yourself? I get more energy from being with people. It's often said that the ENFP personnel type is one of the most introverted extroverts and ENFPs are notorious for being a bit more private and guarded with their feelings while being quite open-minded and curious individuals. On the other hand, most ENFJs would know that they are extroverted and most ENFJs would say that they love to be around people and they are in many ways the most social of all extroverts. Often it's that introverts, they find it hard to motivate themselves to go out and to reach out to people and uh, to connect with others. Right, While right. extroverts, they can find it hard to, you know, uh, set boundaries for themselves like, oh, I should prioritize myself now and I should look out for my own needs ah, and uh, okay. get time to rest and uh, take it easy for a bit. So I'm an extrovert. <laughs> it sounds like it, huh? <laughs> If you clarify it like that, it's like pretty, yeah, easy to answer. And uh, mm -hmm. what would you say uh, something positive about yourself that you like a lot about yourself? Uh, yeah, I like that I have a lot of energy. That I, like I always start the day, or most of the days, I start the day thinking like, oh, what am I gonna do? Like, what kind of stuff can I think of? Or make other people happy with. So yeah, I, I think I'm a pretty positive person. That is how Mickey in her mind goes into all the extroverted intuitive possibilities. She talks about what's next. She talks about the energy that she has and wants to share with other people and the inspiration she feels. What is something you really appreciate and like about yourself? About myself? Yeah. Ah. Um. I appreciate about myself. Oh, this is very weird. Uh, I appreciate about myself that it's easy for me to to make friends. Yeah. Because that's something that makes me very happy. Making friends, making connections, hanging out with random people and shit. That's uh yeah. Note this the unique modesty of the ENFJ personality type. ENFJs are really, really open minded to different people and different ways of life. And in many ways ENFJs feel that they are all the personality types at the same time. They feel that they have all the qualities of all the people they met in their lives. They feel a relationship to everyone and each person they talk to. And they feel a desire towards balance and harmony. This desire towards integrating different sides of themselves. So watch how the ENFJ says that he's in many ways both interested in learning about new things. But also about connecting with other people. I would guess that you are more of a feeling person. Basically, you make decisions more based on vibes and whether you like it or not, rather than necessarily logic or facts. Yeah, yeah, that's a good assumption. Yeah, yeah I think you're, I mean, I've never done the tests, but yeah, that sounds like me. Yeah. Yeah. I'd also guess uh, that you are more of an intuitive. You're very much in your own imagination, but you sometimes struggle to go out and take practical action and actually do things in a sense. Boom! <laughs> yeah, right on the money. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Uh, I'm, I'm a musician, so I'm a creative my, but in my work as well. Oh, huh, that's cool. And um, yeah, I, I, I mean, it can be really easy for me to start creating music. I, I write my own stuff and then uh, to follow through like the steps that come after. Like I've been pushing that away for years. Now I'm like doing it, you know, so I'm also challenging myself in that area. But um, but yeah, can be it, it can be like, it's much less natural for me. 
Right. So yeah. you really enjoy the process of creating and coming yes. up with music, but it's hard for you to put it out there to the world, Much to other people. Much harder. So now, now I just did that. Like I just released stuff. Wow. And I'm so happy because now I can go back into the studio. <laughs> I can do <laughs> the thing that comes really natural. And uh, would you say that you're more of a planner or more of a spontaneous person? Oh, um, I have. I'm actually way more of a planner. Mm. But uh, the last few last few years, I've really I've really tried to become more of a spontaneous. You're very interpersonally oriented. You're very communication driven. You're people mo motivated. Yeah. Like uh, you're at your best when you're by other people. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, you could say you believe in the power of friendship in a sense of uh, like you're learning from others, new cultures, like... Uh, I'm really, I'm very a communicative person, very, uh, like you said. Do you also pick up other people's habits very easily? Like if people say certain words or do certain things? I, I believe I do. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because I, I also automatically analyze a lot. Not, not just the words they say, but body language and, and everything and certain reactions that they have to certain situations mm. that's uh, I find it very interesting how people behave in certain situations so yeah I tend to do that uh, and I'm not sure if I'm really good at it but I do feel like I kind of have a feeling for it yeah a knack for it yeah yeah no, I'm well, uh, also really getting the vibe that you're an extroverted, intuitive, feeling and judging type. ENFJ, they call it. So, uh, oh. <laughs> yeah, those are people that uh, uh, they, they're just very good at reading people and body uh -huh. language and vibes uh, and group situations. Uh, they can sometimes predict how people will act and what they will do. And uh, to some extent, uh, sometimes, they yeah. know how to also motivate people and to be uh, inspiring yeah. for others. Yeah. yeah, if I feel like I'm energetic a certain day, then yes I am kind of like that yeah of course I don't really know you can't read minds so and everyone no. is so different so you can't be like 100% accurate but I feel like kind of yeah what you said yeah notice the ENFJs are overall a little bit more serious at temperament a little bit more composed a little bit more careful a little bit more articulate a little bit more about making sure that he's understood correctly and that he's not misunderstood yeah. Again, but yeah, no, being on stage is kind of a mix for me between those worlds where like you have to make the move of showing yourself, but at the same time it's still face to face, so it's very makes a lot of sense to me. Yeah. So that yeah. So now that you put that out there, have you gotten a response already? And how was it like to get response from other people and feedback? Yeah, it was really really nice. Actually, I I found myself like over the years like preparing for that step I thought like there were a lot of fears a lot of things that I, I just like a lot of negative thoughts that I I had about how people would react or what like it needs to be exactly like perfect and me and I don't know and now that I've taken like the first step it, it just creates space and people are really like super excited actually and really like yeah people are the best Notice how the ENFP is expressing herself with her hands when she talks and how in many ways her hands sway and move in a flowing and relaxing manner. Her hands and palms relax while she talks, while the ENFJ has more composed expression and experience. I later found out that, that even though when I judge someone without even knowing them, when once they come up to me smile and say hi my name is this I already like them <laughs> so for me it's very easy to switch oh, I, I, <laughs> I'm very easy to switch I could give you a handbook of how I work I mean those those kinds of things and refer psychology that that stuff really works I mean very huh. good huh. that's that's what I noticed about myself and sometimes when I get close to someone I just explain to them here well here's one well, here's the handbook of how I work and uh, the small things you can use to you know yeah is it more about you finding out who you are when you make music or is it also about connecting with other people what's more important to you for me personally as an artist i find it just like really interesting to figure out what moves me what's something that speaks to me and then to find other people that connect to that that's like the best plus right but that's not the fire for me huh yeah. okay then i would guess the last thing i'd guess is that you are an uh, 
uh, perceiving type, so a person that is uh, more focused on uh, being spontaneous, going with the flow, learning new things, rather than a person that needs to have a set plan and uh, goal and uh, yeah. structure and organization. Maybe it's even hard for you to have structure and organization, like you struggle with details and sitting down with things and yeah. uh, disciplining yourself to kind of uh, put the hours in and get it done in a sense. Yeah, that's the things that I practice with myself. Like yeah. that's definitely not the the nature. Notice how she as an ENFP has her energy spike when she talks about the creative process and notice how it dips down lower and it becomes more serious and more uh, careful when she goes into more serious topics related to self-discipline, self-control and self-development. You can often say that uh, ENFPs, they are a bit like uh, uh, extroverted intuitive so they're always focused on what's next new possibilities learning uh, trying out new things uh, experimenting with new music or sounds or ways to do things and self-expression in all forms mm -hmm. but that the uh, challenge is you know learning to create a legacy for yourself in a sense to leave behind something lasting uh, to like so that not every idea that you chase just becomes another thing but that it actually like leads somewhere or gets something uh, out into the world that people can enjoy for a longer time in a yeah. sense yeah yeah I think awesome yeah. Oh, thank you so much for answering these questions yeah thank you i just i'm gonna show you my eyes it's <laughs> weird to have like <laughs> these two personal types were both very very creative both worked with music uh the enfj was working on a music video and mickey she has just released her first album and i'm going to link it down below if you want to check it out so Ultimately, these two types will find that they have a lot of things in common. At the same time, a lot of time their energy is distinctly different. And I hope this video showed you some unique telltale signs of these two different personality types.